il est important de bien comprendre. It is important to understand properly what functionality economy is about. It's about replacing the selling of a product by the selling of its use. The supplier is the owner of the product which he makes available to his clients all along the life cycle. So the value of a product lies in the function and not in the ownership. And this is where we can talk about the use value. This model allows better covering needs without using more resources, but meeting more needs with less resources. Don't you think it's a contradiction? Not at all, because we're talking about different consuming differently. For your glasses, you can rent them and change as often as you want without having to buy for them. Likewise, for your smartphone, you can get the latest model without fearing a breakdown. In mobility, you can use the Velib system without having to own a bike. So the challenging of the ownership of the product, maybe it's going to have an impact on growth. Well, it's a different type of development model to protect our resources, which will be depleted when there is an increased number of us on the planet. So the economy of functionality is based on a certain number of principles. With an, a study carried out by the ECHO SD network that brings together various uh, scientists, we identified six principles for economy of functionality. The creation or improvement of use values, the valuing of access to uh, use value, a proposal of a solution which is adapted to client's need, production in a network of players, a reconversion of the industrial park, and compatibility with fewer environmental impacts and social benefits. So the question is, is the model easy to implement? It is seen favorably by the market, but its implementation means that we'll have to operate major organization changes, and we can identify many blocking points. For clients, understanding the challenges remains difficult and requires genuine education. For markets, regulations is not necessarily uh, favorable to, to, to this uh, economy at the moment. Um, manufacturers responsible, and in France, eco organization are in charge of managing the end of cycle, but producers are less concerned by the, with the outcome of the material because the material no longer belongs to him. But in rental, the producer remains the owner of the product. In companies, we'll also have major consequences in terms of organization. The financial model changes, the trust relationship is a must-have, and internal expertise needs to change. So this leads to a change in the working environment. And for products, some modifications need to be uh, introduced in design to obtain longer life cycles and to act on dissemination modes, on uh, the management of data, etc. So we understand that all this requires a change. Where do we stand? Historically, there are three steps, and what we try and and achieve for the survival of uh, human beings is reducing by a factor of four all our consumptions before 2050. So in the 90s, we had the first reduction with the introduction of standards. Impacts dropped by a few percentage points, and then in years 2000, all these measures focused on the design of the products because this is where 80% of all the impacts are defined. Today, in order to achieve a factor of four, we need and take a look at the entire system in relationship with the product, i.e. everything that contributes to the good operation of the product, human beings, 
uh, IT servers, etc. All this should have led to a shifting to economy of functionality, but unfortunately, uh, all this has not taken part yet because it means huge changes. But in any case, we started thinking about it. So in conclusion, we can say that functionality economy is not yet widely disseminated, although this is not a big model because Michelin was already offering this type of services. We need to continue convincing companies and train future entrepreneurs in that direction. And the involvement of new generations is essential because we can't continue working individually, which leads to self-destruction. This shift can only go if we live better together.